So in today's web dev tip, we're going to take a look at how to find out if a particular letter in a string is lowercase using JavaScript. So I'm not sure why you might want to do this, but I did see this question asked the other day. I guess you might want to work out whether a particular word starts with a lowercase letter. So let's take a look at one approach that we can do to solve this problem. So let's say we've got a string uh, and it's stored in a variable called word. The first thing I'm going to do is actually get the character that we want to check. So I'm going to use the char app function on the string uh, to get the first character in the string, which will be the J. And I did wonder about using the char code value to see if it's above a certain value to see whether it's upper or lower case. Then it occurred to me that we can just check to see that if the actual character that we're looking at matches its lowercase version, we can return true or false. So for the character at position zero, is that exactly the same as the char code at position zero for that string and calling the to lowercase function on it? So this would be like saying the character that we were looking at on the right hand side of the comparison is definitely lowercase. Does that exactly match the character unmodified in the string at position zero? So obviously we get a true response in the output. If we just change that zero to a one to check the second character, then obviously we should still get a true value. And if we change the initial letter to be uppercase in the string and change back to zero, See, that now gives us a false value back. The other way to do this would be also to use a regular expression, but obviously the two lowercase function is quite descriptive as to what we're doing, so it leads to a bit more readable code. We could also wrap this up in a function to make it even more descriptive as to what we're trying to test. So that's it for testing whether a letter is lowercase in JavaScript. Stay tuned for more web dev tips.